Hi, this is Palash Chakrabarti, Aston teacher, Scar High School and College. Welcome to my class. So subject Hindu religion and moral education as class 10, uh, unit 10, lesson 15. So here we have a picture and some lines as well. So it was the mother who was the driving force behind the manifestation of Aeroville under the shaping influence of the mothers and C. Aurobindo's dual philosophies Aroville emerges as a unique multicultural confluence where matter and spirit, the individual and the collective meet in the search for higher consciousness. So, from the picture and from the line, lines, we can gauge our topic today. So today's topic, it is Srima. So let's go through the text in detail. Srima was born at Paris of France in 21st February 1878. Her real name was Mira Alfosa. She was born as the second child of an Egyptian mother and a Turkish father. A few months after her parents had settled in France, an extraordinarily gifted child who became an accomplice, painter and musician, she had many inner experiences from her early childhood. Sri Aurobindo called her Srima. The devotees also called her by this name. Okay, so from the childhood, the spiritual thinking was raised in her. So from the age of only four, she started to be absorbed in meditation. A uh, educational environment was made for her, but she had no eagerness to study. Not only that, she had no attraction to any earthly things. She thought only about God. Okay, there was a deep jungle out of Paris. Srima had gone there and did meditation, staying under the tree. Then the birds sat on and squirrel ran over her. An eternal relationship was developed there. At the age of 19, she went to Algeria. There lived a wise man named Theon. She learned Hatha Yoga and many Gupta Vidya from the wise man. So coming back from there, she started deep meditation. She realized there was God as Jyotirmaya. Once she dreamed a Jyotirmaya person in her dream. Okay, the mother. Srima started to learn philosophy and theology. She believed that the shapeless God has expressed through Sri Krishna. In 1914, she came in India with her husband Mansiya Pal Risa. They went to Pondicherry, Aravinda Ashram on 29th March. There after seeing Rishi Arabin, she thought that was the Jyotirmoy man whom she dreamed. That place seemed to be heaven to her. She became a follower of Arabin. Then a magazine named Arya was published in English and French from the ashram. Okay. Here we have a picture of Sri Aurobind Bhavan, that means Aurobind Ashram. Okay, after a stay of 11 months, she was obliged to return to France due to the outbreak of the First World War. A year later, she went to Japan for a period of four years. In April 1920, 
the mother regional sri arvin in pandicherry when the sri arvin ashram was formed in november 1926 sri arvin entrusted its full material and spiritual charge to the mother so under the under the guidance of mother which continued for nearly 50 years the ashram grew into a large manifested spiritual community in 1952 she established sri arvind international center of education and in 1968 an international township in aroville here we have a picture of mother with sri arvind okay the main learning from the ashram is to eradicate all sorts of discrimination those who are living in the ashram they have to work there is no discrimination of work among them ma wanted the devotees to be respectful to the other religions the university students would spread out the spirit of the religion around the world ma loved and took care of them like a child ma had also loved for the nature and living beings okay so ma always loved to engage in work day and night she spent her life without aspiration ma was not only a saint but a lover of beauty as well she tried to find the similarities between the inner and the external world of nature and wanted to develop both the described beauties so in this way ma made the ashram a place of beauty and purity ma planned to build the aroville city that would be modern and there 50000 people would live it would be a tax free zone everybody would serve the truth being the religious person in 2006 the master plan of ma became a success okay the inhabitants of that city are living happily okay so uh, last of all the ideology of this as- arvind ashram has been established with a fame all over india by the hard labor of srima there are some branches of the ashram in other places of india and bangladesh as well in 1973 17th november ma breathed her last at arvind ashram so we get some learning from the life of srima as well so we should take the ideology of purity in personal life believe in god get education and serve the living beings so that is all about the text so we it is time to end the lecture so we will end with this uh, religious personality um, srima so thank you thank you for watching my video uh, stay safe be blessed thank you